out, guys. Look over there. There is Spotted Eagle Ray. Spotted stingrays are mostly caught in Southeast Asia and Africa. They are also often traded commercially or exhibited in aquariums. Many parties have made efforts to help protect this species, the South African government's decision to implement safety nets to reduce the number of spotted eagle ray deaths due to accidental entanglements. This is, Gernard fish. Even though they are small and often targeted by larger predatory fish, this doesn't mean that Gernard flying fish only eat algae or plankton. This fish is actually classified as a predator. Primarily, they will look for prey around coral or sandy seabed. The main food of the Gernard flying fish is crustaceans, small fish, and various types of shellfish. This is a blue spotted ray. Having a beautiful color that can catch people off guard when they see it, this blue spotted ray apparently has a secret weapon. It has two large and medium sized spines at the end of its tail. These thorns can cause a number of dangers if they come into contact with humans. As a self-defense mechanism, the sting caused by these thorns can be very excruciating. This is, Gulper Eel. Male Gulper Eels generally have larger eyes than females. Scientists believe that males can meet females mainly because males follow the scent of pheromones released by females, but the ability of pelican eels to produce light at the tip of their tail is also used to attract the attention of the opposite sex to reproduce. There is a clown fish. This beautifully colored fish is apparently not very good at swimming. Therefore, this fish often takes shelter behind the tentacles of sea anemones. When attacked by another animal, this fish will swim quickly to avoid it. But that speed only lasted for a short time. This fish is also more often found around the tentacles of sea anemones. This is a moray eel. Several types of moray eels have very beautiful body colors. The colors and patterns on the moray eel's body vary greatly depending on the type. Many marine aquarium lovers use this eel as an addition to their aquarium collection. Several tourist attractions have collections of various types of beautiful moray eels. Wow, this is starfish! A unique fact about starfish is that the shield is a stiff shell that has a rough texture, even thorny, depending on the species. Starfish have a layer of calcium carbonate with tiny spines that deter fish, birds and even sea otters from attacking them. There is crab! The presence of claws on crabs is not just to decorate the body, these crab claws play a very important role in hunting. Maybe there are still some people who don't realize it, but crab claws are very strong and large. There was even a study to measure the strength of this animal's claws. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look! This is Blue Whale! In the 1900s, there was a massive blue whale hunt. Records show about 380,000 blue whales were caught. The aim of hunting blue whales is to extract fish oil which comes from the fat of these giant mammals. Blue whale oil is widely used in oil lamps and to make soap and margarine. This is a hermit crab. Not many people know that hermit crabs undergo a molting process. Simply put, molting is shedding the exoskeleton and growing a new one. This process stresses hermit crabs and makes them more vulnerable. On average, hermit crabs molt once every 18 months, but some do it more often. In one molting process, hermit crabs need 4 to 8 weeks. This is squid. Squid are intelligent sea creatures. They have large and complex brains, even comparable to those of whales. The squid's ability to learn and adapt also impressed researchers. They are capable of completing complex tasks and even exhibit behavior that indicates extraordinary intelligence. 
There is an octopus. Octopuses can change color and pattern. When an aggressive male octopus is about to attack another octopus, he will often darken, rise from the sea floor, and spread his arms in a way that increases his size. Sometimes he would lift his coat, the entire back of his body, over his head. There is lobster. Lobsters usually have two pincers of different sizes. The larger one is a crusher, used to crush prey. The smaller one consists of two claws, functions as a cutter or conqueror. Its purpose is to tear prey and shape it into small pieces. This is box fish. Box fish are not poisonous like puffer fish. Its spotted skin like a leopard, its small mouth, and the hexagon shape of its shell easily make people think this fish is strange. Maybe even similar to ancient fish. Therefore, no one sells this fish here, it is probably considered inedible. This is mouth bass. The large mouth base is dark olive green on the back with light green sides and a white belly. The top of the mouth extends past the eyes. The large mouth base has a similar appearance, but the upper jaw ends below the eye. Base eat a variety of foods. This is a crayfish. Crayfish walk forward, but they can also move backwards only when swimming by using their abdominal movements. Uniquely, they can swim backwards very quickly. And this species will molt at the end of June. They usually eat old shells to regain the calcium and phosphate contained within. Subscribe guys! Well guys, look! This is a Decapodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of Cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. This is Garfish. Alligators are very calm fish, if you get the chance to see one. They will appear to be floating or submerged in water. However, don't be fooled, this is how they hunt. They won't move until a fish startles them and comes close. The stunned target will suddenly be attacked by an alligator fish which will lunge and grab it with hundreds of sharp teeth. This is Ammonite. Ammonites were the predators of their time, feeding on most living marine creatures including mollusks, fish and even other cephalopods. By analogy to modern cephalopods, their method of attack probably consisted of silently stalking their prey, then rapidly extending their tentacles to grasp the target. This is dolphin. Some researchers have found that dolphins have the longest memories of any species, apart from humans. A study revealed that dolphins can recognize the voices of their close friends, even after being separated for 20 years. A number of scientists have concluded that this extraordinary memory can be linked to the evolution of social relationships among dolphins. There is a puffer fish. Puffer fish that have white spots apparently have a unique habit of building nests. Male puffer fish make round nests in the sand. Their goal in building a nest is to attract the attention of females. Usually, if female fish are impressed, they will lay their eggs in the nest. There is a jellyfish. Jellyfish have luminous organs that emit light or are known as bioluminescent. Bioluminescence is the body's ability to produce light. This light is green and blue. Crystal jellyfish are a type of jellyfish that have bioluminescent abilities. This light is a chemical reaction of proteins produced by the jellyfish's body with seawater. Thank you for watching guys. 